hello everyone welcome back this is the last video in this series so what we have learned till now is how do we create a very simple chat bot uh, using sap conversational ai and then how do we create a web chat channel for it all right so let's let's keep this open and then how do we create an index.html file inside a uh, repo called username.github.io please follow follow this naming convention as mentioned in the previous video then you need to have an index.html file where where your uh, script tag and meta tag that is suggested by your uh, sap conversational ai is being placed okay so once that done you have done uh, almost all work after that you need to do a couple of things just to make sure that everything is done properly you see, you'll see here a settings tag in the GitHub page right here. Besides inside, you'll see a settings tab here. Go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, please go ahead and scroll it until you reach a section called GitHub pages. Okay. Once you reach the, your uh, GitHub pages, you'll get an URL here. It will say that your site is published at this particular URL. Let's go ahead and copy paste this URL into our browser or let's click to open from here directly okay so this is the page it, it has opened all right now it says hello from nishant and then you'll see in the right hand side it says click on me come speak to me okay now from where all this coming this is coming from your github index.html file whatever we have created all right so if you look at your index.html file i have told hello from nishant and then this line is causing the chatbot to be sitting here now once you click on it right and then if you say hello let's go ahead and say hello you say hi nice to meet you right uh, let's go ahead and type bye you say goodbye so you see the your bot in action here okay now the color is red uh, it says my awesome chat bot when you minimize it says come speak to me and it says click on me so on and so forth all those things you can change from this place so let's go ahead and change it from red to uh, bluish color okay let's do that okay. and then header customization i would say uh, rather than my awesome chatbot will say just my chatbot or whatever okay and then uh, it should say rather than come speak to me you should just say hi just make all these changes that uh, explore those section make those changes click on close give it a couple of seconds okay and then when you click on uh, refresh it might take a couple of seconds to uh, get reflected let me clear cache and reload uh, yeah so it, it might take just a couple of minutes to get these things uh, uh, reflected actually okay so yeah so just just wait for a couple of minutes and all those changes ideally uh, should be reflected uh, there it is taking slightly longer all right, those changes should be ideally reflected. So whatever color and all that you change here, right, in your web chat, uh, uh, in your web chat channel, those things should be actually. Uh, okay, it did not change. Why? Okay, give me one second. I'll I'll make those changes again. Ah, oh, okay. I need to click on save changes. Sorry, and then click uh, click on close. And then after a couple of seconds, yeah, it should change. Yeah. So now now the color has changed to uh, blue essentially. Okay. So I forgot to do save changes. That's my bad, guys. Okay, and then you can change uh, here to just hi, and then again go ahead and click on save changes, and click on close. Go ahead and refresh your page. So now it says hi rather than come speak to me, and the color has been changed to blue. And then um, your chatbot is working uh, as before. You type in hello, and it gives you this message. All right. Just keep one thing in mind. Uh, once you have created this repo, uh, it might take up to ten minutes to get to 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 access this particular URL. But uh, after ten minutes or after fifteen minutes, this URL should be accessible. If it is not, you have done something wrong. Uh, please revisit the videos and check what you have done wrong. Otherwise, in five to ten minutes after creating this particular index file, your bot should be up and running. And uh, and once you have made any changes here. In the SAP conversational AI, ideally your changes should be reflected within 10 seconds as well. If you have not, you saw we did a mistake of not saving it, so you might have done a mistake. Okay, that's all for uh, this series, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any doubts. Thank you.